Hi, welcome to this uh, CAC tutorial. My name is P. Ramarajan. What is the aim of this channel? It makes you learn in a simple way, way of all the subjects under Computer Science and Engineering Department. Here we are going to see, uh, we, 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 here we are going to see with a simple explanation and a simple examples of all the topics of all the subjects under Computer Science and Engineering Department. Even if you watch this channel before today's of your exam, then it will be very helpful during your exam time. Because here we are going to see again and again I am telling here I am we are going to see uh, with a simple example and a simple explanation of all the topics uh, all the topics of computer science and engineering department subjects so for that uh, first we for that first uh, we have started with the subject on operating system so last class uh, we have seen secondary storage management those who did not watch that video under description section I put the link just you go to that link and watch that video so today we are going to see uh, another topic, important topic, I.O. management, that means input-output system management. So, these topics under uh, system components. So, already last class we have seen secondary storage management system. Uh, so, on, these are all under system components topics. So, here we have uh, process management, main memory management, file management, secondary storage management and at last I.O. management that means input output system management so these all the management these all the managements comes under system components so today class we have seen we are going to see last topic I.O. management that means input output system management so what is meant by input output uh, management why we have to manage input and output devices all those things in this class we are going to see now so first it first you must know each and every hardware components has its special character, character characters. So as a user, we no need to know about all the characters of all the hardware components. This is a very important thing. As a user, we no need to know about all the characteristics of all the hardware components. See, for example, if you take mouse, if you if you if you take mouse, let us assume that if you take mouse, then uh, you, you must know or otherwise we can say that we enough we enough to know how the mouse works that's all but as a user we no need to worry about the characteristics of mouse the mouse we have several types it may be a mechanical mouse or electrical mouse but you must know how how you have to use your mouse but you no need to worry about what are what are all the characteristics of your mouse so that's why what, what i want to tell here means so as a user we ourselves just enough to know how the mouse works so we no need to know about what are all the characteristics of our any hardware components that this is the point here telling hide the peculiarities of specific hardware devices from the user peculiarities means some special characteristics of some particular hardware component so these are all the characteristics are uh, hided by your uh, operating system or otherwise we can say that input output subsystem so why we have to hide all the details actually so as a user we no need to make any changes of any hardware components just as a user just i want to if i want to work with a computer means just i will go and switch on our computer system and we have to work with on that that's all but as a user but it, suppose if you take a programmer otherwise we can say that as a manufacturer so suppose the manufacturer themselves just uh, <coughs> come, to, come to know all the details about the or otherwise we can say that all the characteristics of all the hardware components what are all the components we have in our computer system so uh, you must uh, understand that as a user we no need to worry about any characteristics of any particular component any particular hardware component that's all so that's why the io subsystem that means input output subsystem what i what input output subsystem does means so just it will it will hide all the special characteristics of uh, some particular or as you can say all the hardware components characteristics see for example if you take unix so if you take unix just it will hide all the special characteristics of uh, all, the, all the special characteristics of some components um, by io subsystem that means what input output subsystem so just it will hide all the details or otherwise we can say that it just it will hide some details from os that means an operating system by io subsystem second one uh, suppose one more example if you take memory management components so if you take memory management just it has some components for example buffer catching and spooling buffer you know 
what is meant by puffer uh, i hope you I, i hope you all of you know what is meant by puffer it is a temporary storage area so that is a puffering so from that we can easily store and retrieve or access the data very easily if you use puffer puffer system next to catching so catching is a very very important thing uh, in our future class we are going to see all the details about the catch memory what is the catch memory and what is the virtual memory so all those things we are going to see in our future class so we have l1 catch l2 catch so what are all the what are all those l1 catch and l2 catch so these are all the things we are going to see in our future class in a very detailed manner second one is spooling spooling also the same thing so in our future class we are going to see very detailed about uh, spooling catching all those things what is the catch memory what is the virtual memory what is the spooling so all those things in our future class we will see so next device driver interface see if you take any hardware component see for example if you take uh, hard disk if you if you take hard disk and just it, it has some hard disk drive so you i i hope uh, you all of you heard about the word driver driver why we need to driver see suppose if you want to work with any particular hardware component as i said already as a user we we can't know or else we no need to know uh, we no need to know the characteristics of the particular components so uh, how we, how it will identify by how it will be identified actually so for that just we are using device driver if you take hard if you take hard disk then we must use disk drive or i say can driver interface so each and every hardware components just it has some driver interfaces so that's why i, I am hearing i am telling here device driver interface just we are using device driver interface so next drivers for specific hardware devices so we have several hardware components so each and every hardware component has its specific driver interface that is a very important thing if you take hard disk then we need hard disk drive if you take tap if you get macd tap and all you need tap drive so each and every hardware component has its own device driver interface why because this device driver only comes to know the special characters or are the characteristics of the particular hardware component see for example if you take a hard disk drive then it has to know what is the characteristics of the hard disk so that's why i told only device driver knows peculiarities of specific device to which it is assigned that means what only device driver device driver only comes to know what is the special characteristics of the particular hardware component that's why we are using here device driver device driver interface now see for example if you take hard disk then we need hard disk drive this is the very very important thing so each and every component has its own device driver interface so here for example we are taking hard disk if you want to use hard disk then it must need or it must <coughs> it must need hard disk drive the hard disk drive only comes to know what is the special characteristics of your hard disk this is the very very simplest explanation of io management that means input output system management uh, if you have any doubt regarding io management then you can comment me so in our future class we are going to see a next topic so uh, under this system uh, under this we have seen system components on the topic so we have file process management file management second storage management main memory management at last io system management those who did not watch other topics in our in, in a description section i put the link just if you click that link then you got to see that video so uh, if you have any doubt uh, regarding this io management topic you can comment me so don't forget to subscribe like and share we will meet in next class with another topic until that bye